question. Okay, <coughs> so feeling the feelings. Basically, uh, one has one ha one perceives oneself to be separate. One pe one has an ego to the extent that one is holding on to repressed feelings and to the extent one is addicted to thoughts. So if you let go of your addiction to thoughts and you allowed every single repressed feeling and energy and emotion to come out of you, then there would be, there would be nothing left of your ego because you need to be addicted to your thoughts to have to think and you need to be, and the repressed feelings um, tie you down to a low vibration. So your thoughts, be, if you have a lot of repressed fear and guilt and anxiety, then your thoughts will tend to be anxious and guilty. Uh, if you have a lot of stress, you'll feel stressed. So you, if you release that, if you release all the stress from you, you can't feel stressed because there'll be no stress to release. If you let go of your addiction to thoughts, then, and there's no repressed feelings, then you, uh, you then you'll cease to be experience yourself in separation. You'll be experiencing yourself as infinite, beyond all thoughts, beyond the body. So, what, what, <clears throat> so let's say you're, you're feeling anxiety in your head, or you're feeling guilt in your in the stomach area, or you're feeling uh, stress in your lungs, or in your chest, or in your breathing. Then, what you do, whatever it is, or you're just having lots of thoughts. As you sit down, you try, if to the best of your ability, you try and have a straight back, if that's possible, you don't have to. And even if you start to feel tired, you can also feel out your tiredness. Because tiredness is a feeling, stress is a feeling, anxiety is a feeling, guilt is a feeling. So with the, all these feelings, what you're doing, like the normal, the normal attitude of people is to try not to feel. Most people, like if you're feeling stressed, most people are trying to push that stress down. So that, but in this process, you're trying to welcome, you want it to come up as much as it can. So you're not trying to fight it or wish it, and, you, uh, and you're not trying to make a story about it as well. We'll go into that second part. Also, if there's guilt, let's say there's guilt in the stomach and anxiousness in the chest or the head. You just either allow both of them to coexist or you pick the one which is the heaviest first. If the, if the anxiety is highest, then just allow yourself to be with the anxiety in the head, if that's loudest, or if the guilt in the stomach is loudest, then allow yourself first to be with the guilt, whichever you feel intuitively you want to be with, or you can be with both of them. And remember, again, we're not trying to resist, so we're trying to welcome these things. And uh, so you're, you're trying to, if there's any form of trying to push it down, not want it to be here, or trying to escape from it. Release all of that and just welcome it. Let it all come up as much as possible. Don't try and run away. Don't try and push it away. Also realize, um, so that's what I want you to do. As you allow these feelings or the stress or the anxiety or the guilt to be felt and you just allow it to come up, you just be with it. It'll be intense for a while and then it'll start to evaporate and it'll start to, start to vanish. Just be with it and be with it and it'll, start, it'll be intense for a while and then it'll start to dissolve into nothing. Then another feeling may come up. Just be with that, and just be with it, and be with it, and then that'll dissolve away. And just keep being with layer after layer of things coming up, and let them dissolve away. Now as you're doing that, at the same time with your thoughts, uh, as thoughts are happening, you want to, as soon as the thought starts, just disidentify, let it go, and just be back with the feeling. And as another thought arises, detach from that thought and be back with the feeling. If another thought arises, detach from the thought. So you just want to try and spend as much time feeling. Now if you're not feeling anything, just thoughts, just keep detaching from those thoughts and just try and be presence. You know, just pure presence and stillness. And then you go into another thought, then detach, just try and be in the present moment, still. If another thought arises, detach and be. Detach and just be the stillness, be the presence, be the peace that's here. Then you're into another thought, be the peace that's here. So that's what you're doing. As you go, you realize in the, when you first start this, you might go into a thought like, I need to do my shopping. But again, detach from that thought. As soon as you realize you're in thought, be, just release it and be back with the feeling or just be back with peace. 
So you're trying to catch thoughts quicker and quicker and be with the feeling or catch thoughts quicker and quicker and just be present and peaceful. So you'd, you want to spend, as you, as you get better in this, you're spending less and less time in thoughts and more and more time in feelings. So catch the thoughts and let them go and be back with the feeling. Catch the thoughts and let them go, back with the feeling or back with peace and presence. So if, they, if it feels like there's something like an unconscious monitoring or supervisor or something trying to keep track of how you're doing, let that go. Just let the feelings be and just disengage from thoughts. Now we're going to do that for about um, uh, 10 minutes or so and then we'll see how we're doing.